Governor Tom Foley. Well, this is a speech you've all been waiting for, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks so much for the support at the convention that uh, enabled me to get the endorsement of the party. I really, really appreciate it. I know many of you worked very hard for that, and I just wanted to thank you. I want to thank Brookfield for uh, hosting, hosting this event tonight. Uh, when I travel around the state, I'm asked uh, largely by the media, you know, what are the first couple of things you're going to do in office? And I tell them, well, uh, we'll have a budget we'll have to put together, and we're going to have to have a plan for jobs. But tonight I changed my mind. The first thing I'm going to do when I get in office is I'm going to fix the air conditioning in this room. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I've been on the campaign trail for over a year. I think I know what the voters are feeling right now, and they are angry. Many of the candidates tonight have mentioned that they're angry. What are they angry about? They're angry about the situation we're in, both uh, nationally and here in Connecticut. And they're angry at the incumbents who've been in office while this has happened. And they want a change of leadership. That is clear. They do not want uh, incumbents being reelected. Uh, and that is a large part of what I bring uh, to this candidacy. And I think one of the reasons why I'm uh, uh, the best candidate for the party to run in November. Uh, my background and experience, I think, are perfect. Uh, I have a problem-solving background. Uh, I've been an executive of a large organization, exceeding 6,000 people. And I think what the state needs right now is somebody with my experience and talents. But I also can say that I had nothing to do with creating the problem we have. I have never supported a tax increase. Uh, it was not under my watch that the uh, size of state government in Connecticut grew as much as uh, Rob Simmons showed you that it, that it grew. So I cannot be attacked as having been uh, a cause of this problem. Uh, I will bring fresh ideas. I think uh, basically all the gubernatorial candidates at this point pretty much agree on the issues. It took my opponents a while to get there. I had the first plan for the state to get us out of uh, this dilemma we're in. The others have followed since. I was the first person to say, uh, after looking very carefully at the budget, that I could close the budget deficit without any new taxes. Uh, one of my opponents has uh, followed me in, uh, uh, in that pledge and commitment. So uh, I really think that uh, my candidacy is the one that's uh, the most likely to prevail in, in November. We have a great opportunity for the party to retake 15 to 20 seats in the House and uh, three or four seats in the Senate and to elect uh, new congressman and a new senator to uh, send to, to uh, Washington. So the top of the ticket is going to be absolutely key. We need to win the gubernatorial race. In the latest Quinnipiac poll, I was 35 points up on my next highest scoring competitor, and that was eight points higher than the previous Quinnipiac poll five weeks earlier. And during that period, I had run no ads. Uh, it was just based on news coverage uh, and people's perception of how the campaign was developing. So. I think I'm the one who has the best chance of winning in, in November. I really hope it gets your support, uh, particularly on, on August 10th. A big victory on August 10th will help uh, propel me into victory in November. Thank you very much for your interest in the audience. Okay, that concludes our candidates' remarks. So